nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Copy, what else? Stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 35 seconds into the Fram 2 mission, the first ever human spaceflight mission to cover the poles. And we are throttling down the engines on the first stage. Now we're into the On the first stage vehicle four. Stage one, throttle down. Oh, it's perfect <laughs> timing with these call-outs. Uh, we throttled down the engines max for max Q, and there's max Q. It's the, the maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle Falcon sees on the set. Confirmation, we're supersonic. We're preparing to throttle back up on first stage Merlin engines. Stage one, throttle up. Confirmation, we're back up on power on the nine Merlin 1D engines. Stage one, Bravo. One Bravo Copy called one out by Bravo. the crew. That means if there was a need for an abort with the first stage now emptying itself of propellant, Dragon would apply a different profile than if, say, right off the pad we had initiated. Waiting for the MVAC D chill call. MVAC chill is underway. We're beginning to chill the second stage engine in preparation for its ignition coming up in less than a minute from now. We also have a few events that are going to happen back to back. We'll have Miko stage separation and second stage engine ignition. Miko is main engine cutoff. That's where we will shut down all of those nine engines, which you're seeing there uh, on the first stage vehicle to slow stage the one throttle down. And we've got a live view of the crew on the vehicle at this moment, which is really cool. <laughs> uh, and we will have Miko stage separation and MVAC ignition in just about 10 seconds from now. Yep, we're beginning to throttle down the Merlin engines in preparation for main engine cutoff. You on the left looking up at the second stage engine nozzle. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two. Copy, stage two. And then ignition. And there we just saw Miko stage separation. The MVAC engine has ignited, and we've also started the boost back burn on the first stage, which you can see there on your left hand screen. Anna and Sarah, those were a lot of dynamic events that just happened right now that the Fram 2 crew is experiencing, but you guys also got to experience that. Yes, I remember now we're in stage two, and I remember that slow buildup of G-forces during this stage. The first stage, the G-forces come on fast, but the second stage, they're a bit slower. And so right now, you're starting to feel it look come on faster and faster and you feel that pressure into your chest you feel yourself being pressed into your seat harder to move your hands up it's it's a an exciting ride and you see the minutes counting by until the moment that you know, know you'll be in space <laughs> yeah you're right because dragon spacex trajectory nominal good call out from guidance navigation control officer trajectory is nominal for the crew dragon copy and commander copies that call out but yeah, you had a good point. Well, we talked earlier, the second stage engine's over 200,000 pounds of thrust. There's more than 200,000 pounds of propellant, so when it first lights, it's not accelerating very rapidly. But Sarah, what's it like when you get near the end of the burn? We heard Bob and Doug back on Crew Demo 2 call it like driving down a gravelly, bumpy road at high speed. <laughs> it's definitely more, um, maybe a little more vibration than first stage because the engine is so much closer to the spacecraft. So you absolutely feel a difference in the sensations you experience when you're riding on the second stage. Cool. I'm sure the Fram 2 crew is feeling something similar. 
Uh, they're still inside of Dragon, which is still attached to the second stage and on your left-hand screen. SpaceX, trajectory nominal. On your, the left hand of your screen, you, you can see a view of the MVAC Great engine problem. ignited. Meanwhile, the crew continuing to head to space. During this time, we would continue to monitor the altitude as the vehicle kept rising and rising. Yeah, you got the displays there where you guys can monitor that during the during the launch. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. And we did see on the left-hand screen that the entry burn has begun. Copy. Nominal. Entry burn did complete. We didn't hear any call-outs, but we do have a green screen here. We have a good entry burn. Second stage continuing to head towards the separation orbit. First stage heading to the drone ship. Stage two, FTS has saved. We are expecting the landing burn on the first stage to occur in about 20 seconds from now. That'll just be a single engine burn on the vehicle. Uh, once again, the M1D engines have about 190,000 pounds of thrust, which is just enough to slow the vehicle down just in time for landing. Panama. Copy, Panama. It's another abort call out on the second stage. You go on the space station, you hear it called Shannon. That tells you where you can reach if there's a problem right now. And we've now got video on first stage. Landing burn has begun. And a view from the drone ship. Legs are deployed. And touchdown after six <laughs> flights. And the booster that has taken the From 2 crew out into space has now made it back to guides. Earth. Yeah, Jesse, we just heard the call out. I don't know if you hear it in the capsule on your flight, but we heard the terminal guidance call. We've essentially reached the altitude. Now we're working the angular momentum of the orbit. So we're going to listen in. We're just seconds. 